Hi, I'm Leon, the founder of Audio Advice. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your Project Automat A1 turntables. Setting up your turntables should be fun and will only take a few minutes. I hope this guide enables you to be spinning some vinyl and enjoying music faster than you expected. The first step is to find a good location for your turntable. If you have large speakers, it's a good idea not to put your new turntable next to your speakers. Having your turntable too close to speakers can cause acoustic feedback, which is a howling sound you'll only need to hear once to know you've done something wrong. Help your turntable get off to a good start by putting it on a solid level surface. I suggest you unbox your turntable either on the floor or on a table near its final position. Save all the packing, it will come in very handy when you move, and lay everything out so it's easy to get to. Go ahead and put your turntable in the spot you picked out for it. I feel it's best to connect everything up before you do the final assembly as it's easier to turn things around while the turntable is not fully assembled and everything should be protected at this point. Day one comes with a nice interconnect cable already attached. I'm going to show you how to hook this up to a set of powered speakers or an amplifier dependent upon the connection that you use. The A1 does have a built-in phono preamp, so it's better to use an aux input on your powered speakers or integrated amp or receiver. Unless you have a really good phono stage, you're one going to use the built-in phono stage in the A1. First, I'll show you how to connect this up to a powered pair of speakers. Here we have a pair of Klipsch 5s. Now these have one set of RCA jacks and they've got a little toggle switch here between line and phono. You want to make sure it's in line and then you simply take the uh, left channel, put it in there and the right channel, plug it in there and you're done. You don't need to connect this ground wire when you're using the phono preamp built into the A1. And here we have an example of an integrated amplifier. We've got aux one here. So again, we're going to take the red to the red and the white to the white and we're done. If though you want to use the phono stage in your integrated amp or powered speakers, you first defeat it in the A1. We'll show you that in just a second. And th then you would plug your cables into the phono input. And in that case, you do want to connect up the ground wire. The A1 comes with a power supply that will plug into the wall. You'll see a small box with a power supply and a bag inside with various wall connectors. In the US, the power supply will already have the right end on it. On the other end, there's a small round connector that fits into a hole in the back of your A1 turntable. Go ahead and plug that connector into the back of your turntable and plug the other end into an AC outlet. Try and keep the audio cables away from your power cables. So now we're ready to pretty much finish setting up the turntable. We're gonna take off this little piece of cardboard. That's all we have to do there. Then there's a little twisty tire here that ties down the tone arm. We wanna get this off. Then the only thing to be careful with, there's a stylus guard, and it's really hard to damage this at all the way it fits. Just slide this off, put this away and store it in case you need it in the future. The dust cover has these little L pieces that fit into the back of the turntable. It's going to be a little tight the first time, but just line it up and push it in, and then we're done. So now you're ready to put on your favorite record and spin some vinyl. And here's what I just love about this. All we have to do is push start, and that's it. It does everything else for you. Tone arm will move up, then it's going to move over, gently lower itself down onto the record surface, and you'll be hearing some great vinyl. Another neat thing is if you want to use this as a semi-automatic turntable, put the cue lever in the up position and move the arm over. Maybe you want to start on, say, the second or third song, and then it starts automatically, and you can just lower the stylus down onto the record surface. Really great. Then my favorite part is when the record's over, watch what happens. Audio Vice is an authorized dealer of high performance audio products from great brands all around the world. If you have questions or need audio advice, you can chat with an expert at audioadvice.com or call or visit one of our two world class showrooms in Raleigh and Charlotte, North Carolina. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our channel to see more content like this posted on a weekly basis. We'll see you next time.